Oh my god. So many of these have keys. I need to get these notifications out as quickly as possible. Let's rewind. In July 2020, a security researcher found dozens of GitLab servers that were misconfigured, allowing her to access tons of source code that belonged to other organizations. In security, a single issue often leads to a cascade of failures that are commonly referred to as privilege escalation and lateral movement. That's why it can be really dangerous for security research to drop a vulnerability out to the open internet without disclosing to the affected parties ahead of time. This can be really difficult to do when you have over a hundred companies that you need to disclose an issue to. In this case, instead of the hacker making an attempt to do a responsible disclosure to the hundred plus companies that were affected, they just dumped the code onto the open internet and allowed anyone to peruse through it. Okay, now put yourself in the shoes of a security engineer dealing with this. You're already having a bad day trying to figure out how this code leaked out and trying to deal with your management asking you how this code leaked out. <laughs> So on top of that, imagine this code had a bunch of API keys in it that could allow an attacker to access additional systems. This is a really bad place to be in, and I've been there before, which is why I tried to do everything I could to help. So I scanned the code with Trufflehog, and I found as many API keys as I possibly could, and then I reached out to the companies and preemptively told them about where to find them and how to rotate them. I did all this in good faith, and the response was overwhelmingly positive. I'm so happy that I was able to help several companies rotate these keys before a black hat hacker got access to them and used them to access as more sensitive data. Do you have a story about how you use Trufflehog to prevent someone from having a bad day? Tell us about it. As of March 2021, charges were levied against this attacker from the US Justice Department because stealing source code and publishing it onto the public internet is not considered protected free speech. According to the Justice Department, it's considered theft and fraud. 